how do you manage tribal or racial inter-tribe or inter-race marriages? What are the challenges of it? Ah, that's a very good question. So now in the States, you, I, I've counseled many couples who have been of different races, like black, white, and I've counseled couples who have been of different cultures. And I've realized that the cultural differences create more of a problem than the racial differences in terms of you being of a different race. You can be of a different race and of the same culture. Correct. Right? Or you can be of the same race in a different culture. So if you're dating someone of a different culture, at the end of the day, I think it comes through conversation and really identifying what are the similarities, what are the differences, and can you live with those differences? If those differences create too much of a problem where it, allow, it keeps you from coming into agreement, you may want to date somebody who's more in align with your traditions and your culture and your, and your belief system so that it makes that relationship more productive. No, no, please go, keep going. Keep does, going. That, does that make sense? Yes, sir. So, so another challenge, like for instance, interfaith relationships. I've counseled people who are of different religions or even within Christianity of different denominations. That also has presented a problem if you allow the differences to get in the way. And so at the end of the day, the Bible says, can two walk together unless they be in agreement? And beyond physical attraction, beyond emotional connection, what makes a relationship last is the power of agreement. Faith oftentimes and culture oftentimes will dictate how we raise our children, how we manage our finances, how we, how we function in our marriage. So you wanna make sure that you have a similar foundation from which to grow your relationship. And if you do, you have the foundation of something that can really work. 